Hey guys, since next month is National Poetry Month, I thought that I would share a few videos um, of the children's poetry that we have right here at our library. I would have um, shared them during our Tykes Tales program, but I don't know, you guys are just so energetic, a little boisterous. <laughs> I didn't think I would get through them. So I thought it would be a better like pre-recorded video than really a live thing, which is fine because I love it when you guys get enthusiastic about my readings. <laughs> so this is a book we have, it's called Daniel Finds a Poem by Misha Archer. And it's super cute. It's one of my favorite little stories. So I wanted to share it with you today. Daniel knows all the rocks, the trees and animals in the park. Doesn't this book get you excited about spring? Me too. On Monday morning, Daniel sees something new on the park gate, a sign that reads, Poetry in the Park, Sunday at six o'clock. Here's the sign. Wow, that's quite a park. He looks up in surprise when he hears a spider say, to me, poetry is when morning dew glistens. I love that picture. And on Tuesday, Daniel climbs the old oak tree. He sees squirrel. Squirrel, do you know what poetry is? Here he is climbing the tree. Poetry is when crisp leaves crunch, squirrel tells him. <laughs> These animals know a lot about poetry, apparently. On Wednesday, Daniel calls into the chipmunk's hole. <laughs> Chipmunk, can you tell me what poetry is? Here he is looking in on the, on the chipmunk. My son used to call chipmunks pinch monks. <laughs> I think that's poetry too. Poetry, hmm, poetry is a home with many windows in an old stone wall. <laughs> On Thursday, Daniel makes a boat with a leaf for a sail and watches the wind carry it across the pond. He calls quietly to Frog, excuse me, Frog, what is poetry? Poetry, says Frog, is a cool pool to dive in. <laughs> you jump right in. On Friday, Daniel parts the cattails and finds Turtle. Hello, Turtle, I have a question. What do you think his question is? Do you know what poetry is? I think poetry is sun warmed sand, said Turtle. Here's the cattails. Oh, who's this little dragon pot? <laughs> On Saturday afternoon, Daniel finds cricket in the shade of a slide. He must be at the playground now. Mm -hmm. 
When the shadows are long, Cricket fills the air with music. Is this poetry to you, Cricket? Singing at twilight when a day is done? Indeed it is, Daniel. <laughs> That night, moonlight fills Daniel's room. He hears a, whoo, who's that? Leaning from his window, he calls to Owl. Owl, what is poetry? Here's the owl outside his window. <laughs> Oh, poetry, poetry is bright stars in the branches, moonlight on the grass and silent wings to take me wherever I go. Good night, dear Daniel, she whispers and takes off into the night. Isn't that cool? That's a conversation I wanna have with an owl. On Sunday, the sun wakes up Daniel and he is happy because he remembers that it's Sunday. Today is poetry in the park, says Daniel, and I have a poem. Must be cool to just wake up with a poem. So here's his poem, are you ready? Morning dew. <clears throat> Morning dew glistens, crisp leaves crunch. There's a home with many windows in the old stone wall, cool pools to dive in, sun warmed sand to lie in. Singing at twilight when the day is done, bright stars in the branches, moonlight on the grass and silent wings to take me wherever I go. Can you guys remember all the animals that gave him those pieces of the poem? He put them all together. Isn't that clever? On the way home, Daniel stops to watch the sunset sky reflecting on the pond. That looks like poetry to me. Me too, said the dragonfly. <laughs> Came back to the story. There we go. I hope you guys like that. That's one of my favorite children's books about poems. Bye guys, I'll be back though.